Gautama said, by however a person earns their living, whether by farming, by trading, by rearing cattle, by archery, by service under the king or by any other craft, at that they must become skillful and cannot be lazy. They will develop discernment as to the proper ways and means of accomplishing their work and will be competent in performing their duty because of persistence. Having earned wealth rightly, a person must protect it from taxes, thieves, from catastrophes and mismanagement through sober awareness and readiness. Having secured their wealth, a person must associate, converse, and discuss with other householders who are full of virtue, charity, and wisdom in the matters of how to use that wealth. Through this association, they will develop friendship. A person must know their income and expenses and live a balanced life, neither extravagant nor miserly. Income must stand in excess of expenses or else they will suffer and die starving and needy. There are also ways that wealth is destroyed through wrong action, unreasonable risk, evil friendship. But just as in the case of a large tank with an inlet and an outlet, if the inlet is closed and the outlet opened, it may be expected the tank will drain. So too, if the outlets are closed and the inlet open, the tank will fill. By simply avoiding what is destructive to wealth, whatever wealth is amassed will remain. The process of amassing wealth can be conducive to the development of faith, virtue, charity, and wisdom. It is in the manner in which the wealth is amassed that results in self-discipline and righteous action.